What is going on today, guys? Thanks for tuning in to another episode at Moorhead Homestead. Um, today, what we're going to do, we're going to show you a little bit inside of my mom's house that we built them. It's a tiny house. It is 20 by 25, um, 500 square foot. It's kind of got an open floor plan. It's got one bedroom, one bath, um, the kitchen, the living room, everything's all together. Um, so what we're going to do, I'll show you a little bit on the outside. It's very simple and basic. Um, we kept it under a certain budget and it, I mean, for what she needed, it definitely met all her needs. And so we're gonna show you a little bit on the outside here and then we'll take you inside. Stay tuned. Hey guys, so a little backstory on this um, house here um, that we built for my mom. Um, it's kind of always been our plan all along when we build a house um, to give her a place to live. Um, she's disabled, she can't really work um, without hurting a lot. I mean, she does a little bit out here and uh, picks up sticks and stuff, but then she's down for days on her back and neck. So we wanted to build her something close to us where we can help take care of her. Um, where she'll always be around. Um, if she ever needs anything, we'll be here. Um, so like I said, it's not much, but we definitely wanted to bless her um, with it for everything that she's done for me and my sister growing up and for Lindy um, since she's been part of the family. So um, we decided um, long before we built this place that we was going to build her a place to stay. So we're going to take you inside and let you see it. You can see it's just, I think that's the 20... And then uh, it's 20 wide and 25 long. Um, it's, got, it's got a couple windows on front, one in the bedroom. And so we're gonna go in there and see it. All right guys, so we just walked inside the front door right here um, and there's a door on the north side of the house also that she uses most of the time because it's right between our houses. So she just walks just back right just back and forth right over there. Uh, so this is the front door we came in that I was showing you on the first video. So I'm gonna flip the camera around now and I'll show you the living room, which is like right in front of me to my left, and then the kitchen, which is right in front of me to the right. So it's it's not very big. Like I said, Perfect. she doesn't she doesn't get around a whole lot anyway, so the less least amount of walking the better. So less cleaning. Less cleaning. So here it comes. Alright, so as you can see here, um, Lindy is standing with the um, camera right where I was just standing. If you look this way over here, this is the kitchen. Um, it's got a little bit of cabinets, a uh, dishwasher here, and you know, enough storage for her. Got our nice refrigerator here, nice stove. Um, Keurig, gotta mm -hmm. have her coffee. Got it. So uh, here's the door that goes to our house. If you walk out this door and walk about 20, 25 feet, you're at our house, so it's literally just right there. If you come over here, it's kind of a long walk, but once you get over here, if you're in her living room, you can see she's got a recliner right here, a little uh, electric fireplace that we had in our old house, and we donated it to her so she would have some little little fire. So um, then she's got her smart TV up. Is that her smart no, TV? No, it's still in the box. That's her smart TV. You've got to put it we together. Need, we need to get her smart TV hooked up. Um, see, she lets her grandkids. She loves them coming over here. I like here to and, color on the windows. Color all over her windows. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. So right now we're going to make the journey down the long hallway to the master bedroom. <laughs> all right. And the lights. So you see here, um, I don't remember the dimensions on this bedroom. It's pretty good size. But it's pretty good size. Um, most of the time it's a playroom for the grandkids. I mean, she's got a bed here, but uh, I don't think she's able to lay in it for long periods of time without hurting her back. So a lot of times it's, uh, this is just a playroom. Um, she's got a, washer and dryer. this is the washer and dryer, the little laundry room in here. Um, little stack of the side by side. She's got all of her little cleaning stuff over there. It's got shelves on both sides. This side is uh, her clothes. No. That's kind of the storage, I guess. Not <laughs> sure. I figured she had some clothes in there. Where does she keep her clothes? It's a mystery. It's a mystery. I don't know. Where are the clothes? So, anyways, let's go to the bathroom. <laughs> She's got a good sized bathroom for the size of the house. Um, come in here and you can see, I mean, it's a good size. Big, huge mirror, nice big sink, plenty of countertop. Um, the bathroom here, uh, so the shower here, nice big shower head you can see up there, which I love, big shower heads. So in here is the hot water tank and the furnace system. That's the um, the cons on having a small house like this. 
there's just you know there's just not a lot of room to store stuff so every little nook and cranny you got to take advantage of and that's what we did by putting the furnace and the mini hot water tank in here Alrighty guys, thank you so much for tuning in today. Um, if you like this walkthrough of this tiny house, um, hit that like button. And if you would like a little bit more details on some more specs and you know where we got stuff and all that, um, drop a comment down there and I'll be sure to get with you soon. And once again, if you haven't subscribed to our channel here at Moorhead Homestead, please hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you can keep alerted at any time we post a video or anything we do your phone will go off and you'll know it. So once again, thank you so much for tuning in today and we'll catch you next time.